Welcome everyone to another Makita update. It's been a very busy week for Makita fans around the world. So let's get stuck straight into it. First up, the TD003G has just been announced in Japan. Now, I don't know why everybody's messaging me about this. This tool has been out in this part of the world and in the States and in the UK for up to a year now. It even came out in most places before the TD002G. It's just an entry level impact driver, nothing to get excited about. I don't know why Japan released it so late. They've also only just released this, the two amp hour battery. Now I've had this battery for about three years. What's the date on this? 2020? So it's it's not a new thing, but Makita, oh fuck this, why am I even talking about this? You're only here for one thing, right? We're all here for one thing. Makita have finally released a fucking framing nailer. <laughs> Everything else pales into insignificance when compared to that. So if you haven't caught up over in Las Vegas, the only time I've ever wanted to be in America is right now in Las Vegas, World of Concrete. They have shown for the first time Makita have unveiled the new 18 volt LXT framing nailer the XNB04 now that's just the American model number and it's a 21 degree nailer now don't panic if you live anywhere else in the world and don't use 21 degree nails if you use 30 degree nails not a problem there is of course going to be a 30 to 34 degree uh, nailer as well and if you take a look at this picture here kindly sent in to me by Elliot you will see that there is the mark there where you would screw on the different angled magazine pretty basic most tool companies are like that they make the one gun and then they just have a different uh, magazine angle for different parts of the world and different nail styles and everything so don't panic the 30 degree nailer will be available in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, etc. And the rumor going round, and I've seen it in patents and stuff, is that it's user serviceable. Now, by user serviceable, I mean that you can top it up with air again when it goes flat, sort of thing. Like you can with AEG and the Ryobi. You'll be able to just open it up somewhere, chuck something like that on it and just pump it back up again whereas other brands like milwaukee for instance you have to take it back to them there's no user serviceable parts you need to take it to them and get them to sort it out if it goes flat and stops firing your nails and don't get too excited yet and and please don't send me a message every day i know you guys are going to because it's going to be at least six months and i know the next six months are going to be hell because you guys are going to be sending me every day have you got the nail yet have you got the nail yet have you got the nail yet I will get it as soon as I physically can and I will get it up as quickly as I can, I promise you. Because over the last few years, I've had to get a lot of nailers while I wait for this Makita nailer. And it's been how many years? Like seven or eight years that I've had to collect nail guns. I even had to get one of these ones. I was so starved of nail guns. That's right, even had to get a Ryobi just so that I could, you know, ugh, I mean, Makita, it's taken so long. I hope this nail gun is the best damn nail gun around. I hope at least it's a little bit lighter than these, a little bit smaller perhaps. From the videos so far, it looks like a pretty nice unit, but until I've got one in my hands, we won't know. So hopefully that won't be too far away. Let me get all this stuff back off the bench. Now I'm sure over the coming days there will be a lot of videos about this nailer from all of the influencers over in the US that are currently there looking at that nailer so they'll be able to give you a few more details than I can at the moment but I do know it's going to be a while. Um, I've heard lots of different things from lots of different people but it's going to be at least six months so just relax, start saving up the pennies and I will get it to you as quickly as possible. Looking possibly at this stage like it's gonna be released in Europe and America first, but I don't know for sure. But we now know they have done it. It is finally a thing. We'll be able to move on with our lives soon because 
Ever since I started this channel, I have been waiting for that tool. I have bugged Makita so much. In the last couple of years, I've started backing off because it's just, they're sick to death of being bugged by everybody about that. And yeah, now, soon, hopefully they won't get bugged about it because hopefully it's a good nailer. Now, one thing that leads me to believe that hopefully it will be released outside of the US first, so I get to get my hands on it before the US guys do, is that if we take a look at closely at the um, nail gun and you look at the nameplate on the side where the model number is, just like previous World of Concrete, they are actually using non-American models. So this is a rest of the world model. When it comes to model numbers, most tools in the States have a different model number to everywhere else in the world. And with the exception usually of things like lights that don't have measurements on them, anything that's got any measurements written on them anywhere, then the, they're always different model numbers because the States still using Imperial, whereas the rest of us are using metric. And in Japan, the model numbers are different as well. Not so much for the 40 volt stuff, apart from the OPE stuff is different, but the 18 volt stuff, the model numbers are all slightly different order as well. But the model number is the rest of the world, European, Australia, New Zealand, etc. Uh, model number, which is the DBN901, and that's the 21 degree. The DBN900, is the 30 degree. In the US, the 21, which will be the most popular in the US, I assume, is the XNB04, and the XNB03 will no doubt be the 30 degree nailer. So, there you have it. And all of you who have got to this point and are on the 40 volt system, don't fear. There will, of course, be a 40 volt version as well, but they can't make them all at the same time probably they'll have to do a run of one and a run of the next one so 18 volts coming first because it's still the most popular platform and then the 40 volt one hopefully not too far behind does of course mean i have to buy at least two makita framing nails now there was some other things as well there is more makita tools news it's not just the nailer although you know that's the biggie of course but this one's pretty big too this is an 80 volt 40 volt times two, jackhammer. Looks a pretty big, mean piece of kit. Another one that has been unveiled at the World of Concrete. Now there's not a lot of good shots, photos, videos of these things yet because they're all kept pretty secret and have been released at this one event so far. Not released, shown off. And if the last few years are anything to go by, when they show things off at World of Concrete, it's often well before they're available to the public, sometimes a year or more. The eight amp hour battery was shown off a long time before it was ever available in America. The quarter inch sander, once again, over a year, I think, before it was available. Uh, so it takes, it can take a while. <laughs> but hopefully we don't have to wait for these as long as we have had to wait for previous ones. Along with the jackhammer, we've also now got a 40 volt 9 inch concrete cutter. So this is just the one battery, not two batteries like the big original CE001G. This will be the CE003G, I'm guessing, in most of the world. And it is, like I say, a 9 inch cutter like the 18 volt version, but it will of course have a lot more kick to it. Another thing that's been seen at World of Concrete, but not talked about too much, is a massive charger. So this is a Mac pack style size charger. It looks like it would clip in with all your Mac pack stuff that can charge up to eight, eight, eight amp hour batteries. Now eight amp hour batteries are big, heavy beasts of things. Eight of these in one case is gonna be like a 16 kg plus charger. Uh, it's not gonna charge eight batteries at once, presumably. It'll be like two at a time, so maybe it can charge two rapidly, and then it'll jump to the next two, the next two, the next two, four times, something like that. Or it could just be completely sequential through the whole lot. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be four charging at once on one side slowly, and then four on the other side. Not sure at this stage, but it definitely won't be doing eight at once. It's something that would be brilliant with the inverter that I did the other week. Video up here. The other week? Yeah, last week videos up there everybody wanted to be able to hook these onto the inverter now if this charger thing could be used in reverse and plug it into the inverter eight batteries that'd be awesome imagine eight of these eight times eight 64 amp hours <laughs> that's awesome at you know 36 volts 
40 volts. That's double the PDC 1200 and whatever it is, about a third more than the new PDC 1500, which was also in this video up here. And I think that would be a far better option for most guys than having to buy a PDC 12 or 1500. Fingers crossed they've worked out that to be able to do both and not just be a charger, but time will tell. And then there's a couple of tools that were released the day that I released my last update video, so I didn't have time to chuck them on there. And that is the SC001G rebar cutter. So it's a 40 volt rebar cutter, just like the 18 volt Makita one, but a bit quicker. And the PP001G hole punch, once again, 85%, according to Makita, quicker than the 18 volt version. And I don't know exactly what it punches. I know that it'll punch a nine millimeter, uh, 20 millimeter hole through nine millimeter steel, no problem at all. Uh, and those are actually made by another company. They're not made by Makita. It's made by a company called Agura. Don't know if that's exactly how you say it. They make the end piece, the big solid bit on the end, and then they just use Makita drills basically to power these things. And they are big, heavy, solid units. I have done the rebar cutter before the 18 volt one, and maybe I will get hold of these 40 volt ones when they come out and do a review of those too. I shall put it on my list. But they are big heavy things and they're bloody expensive things too so they're not that easy to get hold of oh and a little quickie before we go as well what about this a lot of you complain that the makita inflators you cannot hold the trigger on right you've got to keep your finger on the trigger now for a long time i used this a cable tie I just have it loose around there i pull up the trigger slide this over worked a treat but i don't need this anymore i can get rid of this because I bought one of these, I think it was like seven or eight New Zealand dollars, less than 10, or around 10. No more than 10, shall we say. Um, I, I got it from Japan, but I'm sure they're available in lots of places. I will put some links down in the description if I can find some. I'll put a link to the Japanese one, uh, place I got it from anyway. You just Velcro it around like that, and then you have this button on the side. Let's just turn this one on. So you've got the button on the side, just push the button. Quick, simple, and effective. So if you want one of those, like I say down there, very cool, and hopefully Makita will <laughs> eventually work out that that's what people want and make a safe way to do that, because this 12 volt didn't have it, neither of the 18 volts have a lock-on switch, and neither does the 40 volt. Anyway, framing nailer, framing nailer, how long is it gonna be until we get one to look at? I don't know. But, oh, fizzing at the bunghole, eh? It's not too far away. It's within sight. It is a thing. And we will have it before the end of the year. Oh, it's going to be a good video. It's going to be, hopefully, a good nail gun. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on that video as soon as possible. And I'll see you on a bunch of other ones, hopefully, before that. So... If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you like Makita stuff. If you want to know about Makita stuff first, make sure you hit that subscribe and hit the notification bell next to that so that you, you can find out before everybody else what's coming up. And yeah, framey nailer soon. Cool. See you later.